Welcome to CCC Cards this week in investing week 26. Before I show the cards, go subscribe and like the video. And for the Super Bowl LVIII fire pulling party, we are now doing a prism break 10 blasters. Five of them are laser, five of them are disco, and also two megas. 25 bucks random team. Leave in the comments. If you want to join, will be 4 o'clock Super Bowl Sunday, or 4 o'clock Central Time. And also, box, me and versus my dad, Mega Box Wars. Open up Prestige Mega Box, and more is going to be announced. Well, it's it's going to be probably some more stuff this week with the NFC Championship Games. But... Now, opening up boxes is not a good thing to do in investment. Uh, holding boxes is a good thing for investing, but it's fun to open up boxes. And for you, it's fun to watch. It is fun to watch some people watch people open up the boxes. It's funner when you do it, and it's funner when you pull a good card, and I don't care if you say, oh, funner is not I don't care. Let's get to the investing stuff. First, we got John Elway. Rookies as a PSA 7 are up $10 now at $60. But it stayed always around that same price. It'll stay around 50 bucks. Might drop to 40, jump up to 60. It'll stay around that for a few years. That that it it probably won't be 20. Might might be a few decades before you could get your money. Same with Peyton Manning. Uh who is up to forty dollars. Going up twelve dollars from last week. These are long term investments, these aren't short term. Now for our short term investments, Kirk Cousins. Uh, that's just short term lose your money. The way that it's been this year. But it has got up two dollars down up to two dollars up to six dollars now. But with this torn Achilles. It'll be another year before they can go they should start to go up. Should be back next year. Jalen Hurts, who is up three dollars now to ten dollars. Also, loss in the playoffs. First round. Not going to help it. Uh, just that, that'll have to wait till next year for his cards to go up to. Just hold on to another year. Jordan Love dropped in half. Now to $10, but it goes up. He's in the, he just beat the Cowboys. You know, it's a Cowboys. They, they always choked in the playoffs. Then they dropped back down. Right after the loss. But a good game to the 49ers. And also. Uh, there's a Super Bowl logo color. Conspiracy. I'm going to put the picture up here. Uh, all. The diff the last three years. This year. Can't guarantee it yet. I don't know. The AFC Championship is. Being played. At the time this video is recorded. It could be posted halftime. Probably around halftime would be my guess once it gets on. But it could be after the game. I don't know when it will be posted. But these the teams could change. But next year, it's purple and green. So could the Packers. Are they in the script for next year? If it is scripted, just like WWE. Well, if it is, his cards could go up. It could be bad for the NFL. WWE, it's a lot cheaper. You compare... Patrick Mahomes to Roman Reigns. They're both the best out of active players for each of their sport. And a big price difference. And also, just got my notification. I get instant notifications. If she's just got a touch up 14 to 7. Second quarter. It'll probably change once this video gets posted. Now, time for the WWE 
You got JCJ, no change from last week. Still at a buck fifty. I don't think she was on this week. Uh, Raxan Perez, no comps. Still at a buck thirty-five. She signed the contract to go to Vengeance Day against Lyra Valkyria and uh, went to the Royal Rumble match after she got eliminated by Tiffany Stratton. And Tiffany Stratton, a, a weird elimination. Grabbing on the Bianca Belair's hair. I know it's scripted, but that looks like it would hurt. And then got kicked off the top rope. Bailey went on to win the Royal Rumble match. Either we'll go to WrestleMania against Rhea Ripley. It could even be Io Sky. If Damage Control turns on Bailey. Or Bailey turns on Damage Control. But a few months till WrestleMania. That's first weekend of April, I think, so. The road just the road to WrestleMania just started, got a long way to go. Next, Jay Uso dropped two dollars, but first comp in a while. Now at fifteen dollars. And gonna talk some more about him, but next let's go to Jimmy Uso. No comps either, still at five bucks. And then Jay Uso, the number one entrance. Number two, Jimmy Uso, brother versus brother. To start the Men's Royal Rumble match. And hopefully we don't get another Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, wrestling. That was a good match, but hopefully it's somebody different. Not the back-to-back -back main event of WrestleMania. Two years in a row. Uh, next, and also, uh, before we go to Rhea Ripley. Here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Roman Reigns. I need to move this up a little. So you can see I'm acknowledging the Tribal Chief. Got a new stand and it's got a new stand to do these videos. So it's not as a little bit closer. Can't see as much. Can't see as hot even though I feel a little higher on the ceiling. Can't see my finger grow up here. But next, Rhea Ripley. No comp still at seven dollars. And after the Royal Rumble, could it be Liv Morgan, who made a return, or Bailey to have a match with at WrestleMania, or could it even be Becky Lynch? They'll probably be one of those three. Uh, go subscribe and like the video, and you know few months before Wrestlemania wants to go watch Monday Night Raw, Smackdown, see what happens. Who are they going to pick? Might not be announced until a few more weeks, maybe even a month from now, who they pick. But go subscribe.